My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review on the trailer for the new Scream movie. Now, I absolutely hate the title for this movie. They called it Scream. Why would they do that? We've already seen Scream. Scream is a movie that exists already. It came out in 1996. It's a fantastic movie. Why would you call this movie Scream? It's not called Scream 5, it's just called Scream. I hate when movies do that because they did the same thing with Halloween. So now if someone's like, hey, wanna watch Halloween? Well now the other person has to ask, are you talking about the 1978 one? Are you talking about the 2007 one? Are you talking about the 2018 one? Because all are called Halloween and now it's gonna be the same thing with Scream. Wanna watch Scream? Oh, well the 1996 version or the 2022 version. Ooh, I hate it. So the franchise goes like this. Scream, Scream 2, Scream 3, Scream 4, Scream. Why not call it Scream 5? I just don't understand. And better yet, because the S looks like a 5, isn't the Hollywood thing to do to call it 5 Cream? Yeah, that doesn't sound good either. Yeah, they should have just called it Scream 5. But anyways, I'm a huge fan of the Scream franchise. I think it's one of the best horror franchises there is. The first one is one of my favorite movies of all time. The second movie is actually really good. The third one's not good, but it's not as bad as it could have been. It's definitely the weakest of the bunch. But Scream 4 is also great. I really dig that movie too. And they're all directed by Wes Craven. These movies are Wes Craven's babies. And I'm very sad that he passed away. And I just don't know if I like the idea of this franchise going on without him. Because I just feel like what he gave it was just... I don't know if that can be replicated, and I don't know if I even want it to be replicated, but this movie is getting made regardless. It's getting directed by the duo that made Ready or Not, which was a great movie. They also directed one segment in the first VHS, which was actually a really good segment. They also directed this movie called Devil's Do, which was pretty awful, but 2 out of 3 isn't so bad. I haven't seen their other stuff. I still don't know if I like the fact that, even though I like these directors, I don't know if I like the fact that they're making a new Scream movie. But it's getting made, and what do I think of this new trailer? I kind of surprisingly hated it. I know I sound so negative all the time, but I'm always honest with my opinions. I don't think this trailer looks very good at all. I'll just say that it doesn't look like a Scream movie, because Scream isn't just a slasher movie. There's a few other things that make a Scream movie a Scream movie, and the number one thing, the most important thing, is the meta element to it. The meta element is what allows it to stand out. It's what, gave this, it's what gave these movies a unique voice behind it. And that seems to be completely absent from this trailer. And to be fair, it could still be in the movie, but the trailer should kind of indicate what the movie's gonna be like, and it doesn't seem like there's gonna be much of a meta quality to it. Second one is, is that the Scream movies are also pretty funny. There aren't these dark, evil slasher movies, they've got lots of funny moments in it, and they'll definitely try to have fun with the premise. And I just found that this trailer looked like it was taking itself so seriously, like it kind of looks completely humorless. Now once again, it's just a trailer, I'm sure there could be humor within the movie, but I'm just saying what I want from my screen movies wasn't in this trailer. In fact, it kind of just looks like a generic slasher movie with Ghostface as the killer. It doesn't look like a screen movie to me. Now, I know some people are complaining about the fact that Ghostface is using technology, and I'm not really a big fan of that, but it does make sense. I mean, he always uses a little saying to change his voice. What's your favorite scary movie? Okay, that's a bad impersonation. But he always used that little saying to change his voice. So it's within his character, but... And I really did dig the 2019 remake of Child's Play that was all technology-based. So it can be done well. I just... Don't think it looks good by the trailer. And I also don't like the fact that the first minute of the trailer looks to be the opening scene. Like why, why would you do that? The opening scene is always such an iconic opening. Scream 1, Scream 2, Scream 3, Scream 4 all have great openings. I don't want to see any of that in the trailer. And the fact that they showed so much of it in the trailer already, I just don't like that. Rather they kept that to be a mystery. So when I saw the movie for the first time, the opening is a complete surprise. But that said, it also looks to be a really bad opening. Like just the way that she was getting texts and the doors locked, doors unlocked, doors locked, doors unlocked. It doesn't look scary to me. The rest of the movie just looked pretty, the rest of the trailer just looked pretty generic. So I gotta say, I was skeptical about this movie and I was hoping that the trailer would raise my excitement that I would watch it and be like, Okay, maybe this franchise can be can, can continue, but after watching this trailer, I think more than ever I'm thinking it's very unlikely. 
I hope I'm wrong. I hope I watch this movie and I'm surprised, but I was not impressed by this trailer. But anyways, what did you think of the new Scream trailer? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon, and Gavin out.